I've been expecting you. Welcome back to Fragmental. In this video, I'm introducing you to the debut original composition from UK house Luxor Perfume, and it's called For Queen and Country. Stay tuned to FM. Luxor Perfumes is a new house based in the UK. They started off by giving us inspirations of popular niche fragrances. I have Adventine, which is their version of Creed's Aventus. It's amazing. I also have Italian Neroli, which is their interpretation of Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. Again, this is really good. But with this one, I do get a boosted performance over the Tom Ford original, which doesn't have the best reputation for its performance. So Luxor made the decision quite early on to come out with an original composition, which I actually really applaud them for. I think it's quite brave to do that so early on. Their debut original is called For Queen and Country. Let's start off by taking a look at the mission notes. We have bergamot, cumin, saffron, sandalwood, white birch, rose, cedar and vanilla. This fragrance takes its inspiration from Daniel Craig's version of James Bond, Rugged, No Fuss. And when you spray this, the first thing you get is a big blast of spices, saffron and cumin, which are coolly and efficiently executed. Its mission is to go in for the kill and wow you with its potent and masculine opening. There are shades of Creed's spice and wood here, although to me the spices are sharper and with greater potency. It certainly announces its arrival with a kiss kiss bang bang level of precision. Once the opening title sequence is over, we're into the main story, which is one of confidence and sensuality, and a subtle hint of eyebrow raising menthol. As the spices settle, the softer and more intimate side reveals itself as the woods, the sandalwood and the cedar enter the narrative. The sandalwood here isn't creamy, but it does help to rein in those assertive spicy notes, which leaves us with a really nice balance of bold masculinity and smooth sensuality. To sum up, For Queen and Country is bold and confident with a smoother, sensual side in the dry down, and like Bond, doesn't waste any time in declaring its intentions. Performance is pretty good, I get around two hours projection and then seven hours longevity. It does lean a little more masculine, in terms of when to wear this, I think it would work in any season and any occasion, although I do think it would excel as an evening scent or a formal occasion scent. If you're thinking of picking this up, you can go to Luxor's website, I'll leave a link in the description down below. It'll set you back £50 for 50ml, or if you just want to sample it, you can get a 2ml sample for £5. And here's a little extra treat for you. When you go to Luxor's website, enter my discount code FRAGMENTAL20 and you'll get a positively shocking 20% discount. The final test is to see if DC likes this, so let's bring him in. All right. What do you think? Wow. Typically cold Bondian response, but I think that means he likes it. Why so serious? Okay, that's it from us. Uh, if you're thinking of picking up this scent or you've tried it already, I'd love to hear from you. Leave some comments down below. Please like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell to enable notifications. Until next time, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good. Let's bring him in. Okay, okay, that's it from... I think it means he likes it. Oh, motherfucker.